how to pocket carry a fixed blade. First, you take your sheath, you take the clip, you take the clip off. Gone. Clip off. You take the included ball chain and you're going to run it through both of these holes. So these, if you can see, made in the USA. These are stainless steel, so they're not going to rust. They're incredibly strong, but designed to break away. These are the exact same ones the U.S. military has been using since 1918. The very same company. So they'll break away if somebody's trying to choke you so you can't die. But they're strong enough to withstand all the pulling. So... One, you're gonna run it through long loop like this, straight through. We're gonna take that and tuck it behind your belt loop with the loop, and you simply just pass it back through the loop. That's it. So you can tuck this right inside your waistband. I know a lot of guys that carry this. This is called deep carry static line. So that means deep. So just the ring is up. You can get that and pull that straight out. That gets that blade up in a really high, defensive posture so if you need to it, it, it's just great because when it draws you're already coming up to protect yourself that's right there in your face great i love that deep static line so here's the secondary one you're not going to move your ball chain at all all you're going to do is pull the ball chain like that so you have a double loop you're going to take the same thing you're going to tuck it behind your belt loop if I'm an idiot. If I can do this, you can do this, right? Loop it through like you did before. You can take this and drop it where the hilt is down. And that's a cool way to do it because you can slip your finger behind that and see how easily that comes out. And that's right there. So then you've got undercuts if you want to. That's really easy to grab in a reverse. It's a super good way to do that. Also, you can drop that tip down. Again, we're not adjusting the ball chain at all. Tip down, you can't even see that. There it is. You're coming in upward motion again. You're right there. You're back in the fight. So there's another advantage to the static line that a lot of people miss. So we're just going to take this off. Whether or not you like this carry style is completely up to you. So you have it off. You're back in this double loop. All you do, you pull that down. You resheath your knife. I designed this sheath with these double holes. One, you see that angle? Wait a second, wouldn't that work for, you got it friend, it would work. There it is. If you need that up under your shirt, that guy is up and ready to go. You can get to it with your left hand if you've gotta do it weak hand. Everything about our TKL sheaths is gonna be ambidextrous and multifunction for a myriad of concealed carry type of ways. That's the way I think about the designs of my sheaths, my blades, my grips, even my stupid ball chain. Another pocket carry style, while we're on the subject, let's talk about the discrete carry concepts 5.1 U. U for universal, it's got slots so you can use this on a bunch of different sheaths. If you want that more stationary, just attach the clip, all the hardware is gonna come with that. It clips right on there. This thing grabs, look, there it is. Same similar motion. It's just as accessible, it's just not on a chain. You can also take this and tuck it inside your waistband with this little clip will go behind your belt and grab onto your fabric. Oh, look at that little surprise. There's another concealed carry item right there. So you would push that down and lock it onto your pant. That will get that blade where just the ring is accessible right above your belt line. It does not impede your draw of either. There it is. And you just pull that guy right out. I wanna say a big thanks to our patrons. Thank you guys so much. That's our community over there. If you wanna get deeper into the workings of TKL, jump over there, support the channel through there. Like and subscribe, guys. YouTube needs to know you like this content. If you like it, hit that bell button. You'll get notifications. Keep the content coming. Tell YouTube to push this stuff to the masses. Thank you guys so much.